on and off in Derm if you want. It's cool, man. Yeah. It's burning it. Mate, this is creme de la creme. Alright guys, so now the frame in there is mostly built and we started spraying the lines Now we just have to build the plywood box that goes in here There's the ply that we're using, I think it's Okahuni or o Okahuni or something Okamei And what we're using for the box is the 18mm, it's a hardwood so it's compressed nicely, there's not many gaps in the edges we're using the thicker stuff for the box so it holds its line a bit better because the edge of it is going to be on display. Alright, let's make the box. So this is going to be the width of the box in the wall there. Just enough for a couple of books. Charge your phone in there. And we're just going to rip a couple more strips like that out of the rest of it. So I've labelled everything. D, C, D, C. This is actually like quite a nice flat surface, so I might just go up here. There we go, that's, that's, gonna, look that's like. gonna be behind your head. You're gonna lie in your bed and you go, oh, where's my phone? Well, that's right, it's up on this glorious shelf that Scott and Pato built. Now to put the back on. Straighten the whole thing. It's a very snug fit. What was that? Some black lines around there. We want the frame underneath to be as tight as the frame on top. So then our gaps that are eventually going to be here will be uh, be tight and beautiful and yeah. top layer we have cut out of one sheet of plywood so 
when we glue them on, even though they're separate boards, the grain of the timber is going to be continuous. Look at those beautiful lines. This is going to be a cool feature. Wall. Are they on already? No, the light's on there. Woohoohoo! I want to see in this. <laughs> uh, that's, oh, so it does one time at a side at a time? Uh, yeah, I just did it that way in case someone wanted to. Oh my god. Is it like, Ben says it's like a hotel or like <laughs> This is really an electrician's house, eh? Look at that. It's got a poly. What is it? Poly, polyurethane coat? Is it a clear or? Two coats of satin. And you can see the grain going through. See our negative details. This, so it's like a bead of LED, eh? Yeah, yeah, strip light. It's a little bit over the top. Nah, that's cool. You can see the, the join and then you come around and see the structure of it. That's true. Where all the wardrobe and everything is going to go. And then the, the mounting brackets that we put on. Yeah. So we held the plywood on without yeah. nailing it's it from the other cool. side. Hey, it's actually it's pretty cool. If any of you guys are wondering what glue we used to put the warboards on, at first I tried Max Bond. That was far too messy. It sticks well and holds it, and it's got a good, it's got good flexibility, but far too messy to work with. And when you're using that nice finished ply, you, know, you don't want any glue dripping on it. I decided this time to get Fast Grab Sally's liquid nails. Um. 